YouTube is down right now. I'm pretty upset about this. You can't. You can't see it. And Chastity just posted a naked picture of me on Instagram. It's a video. It's video. You can't oh see it. Watch when you first come out. Mama, Frank on TV again. Okay, so hold on. I wanted to make sure that the mic was on. So today is going to be crazy. I have to work here. Then I have to go pick up my tux. And after I pick up my tux, I have to cut this off then we have the rehearsal and then we have the rehearsal dinner and then the bachelor party all today wedding stuff is always super fun it's gonna be a long day and being completely honest it was a long day specifically because i kept on thinking about food while it's working all day long So, um, I just got the vlogging alert that I have set on my camera to remind me that I need to record something every, at least every four hours to talk. And one of our interns just looked at me like I was crazy. But it, nothing interesting has happened thus far. Uh, and I kind of figured that you guys have gotten tired of watching me like warm up my coffee and sitting at my desk. So I wasn't gonna do that again. Cause I've done that four days in a, well, three days in a row. So I'm not gonna put that in here. But I still got to go get my tux, cause it is in. Uh, and I have to pick up some candy and I have to print some stuff out for Jarrell. And then I will take you guys on that journey as well as to the rehearsal and the rehearsal dinner tonight. I'm trying to move as fast as possible cause now I have to go, okay. I'm trying to move as fast as possible because now I have to go pick up my tux after working all day and pray to God that nobody hits me while I'm walking and talking to my camera. Yeah, I know. I'm a grown ass man, but at the same time, my camera rig is pretty big, so I might get distracted and my camera rig might cause me to get hit by a car. Yep, it's a fear of mine. I'm not going to lie. I just thought I'd say this real quick because I don't think that a lot of guys actually pay attention to this whenever they're groomsmen. You are not solely just responsible for being in the wedding. Like, you're responsible for helping that guy whenever he or she feels like there's way too much responsibility for the day going into the day. Now, if you are in a wedding, don't be like me and forget to call the guy that's getting married and see if they need you to do anything. My groomsmen were really good about doing that. They all called to make sure that I didn't need anything. And I actually had a couple homeboys, well, one homeboy that wasn't even in the wedding and he called me every day that day. And he also went to the bachelor party, purposely stayed sober so he can make sure that I didn't do anything stupid. I appreciate you for that, Chris. Nonetheless, what I am trying to say is, is be there for your boy on the day of his wedding and before. So if you're in the wedding with somebody, make sure that all his tasks are done by helping him do that, all right? But I definitely think that tonight is gonna to be a blast. We are supposed to be supposedly going out to a couple of places where we can act like a bunch of kids. Yeah, it's gonna be fun, but I still gotta go get size for this tux and I need to do it as soon as possible. Nothing actually stopped me from thinking about food though. Like the entire day, even when I made it home to pick up Chastity, to go to Jose Bank to pick up my tux, I continued to think about food, I was thirsty, and we had to walk around in the heat and it just was uncomfortable. All right, so we need to move with the quickness because I got three hours to get my tux, fulfill my my groomsmen uh, duties, get to the venue, and all that other stuff. And I still need to wash my butt before I get there because I'm kind of sweaty right now. And yeah, this is gonna be eventful. 
Yeah, it really was a pretty day outside yesterday. And we got to Jose Bank, and the people there are always nice, but he brought me out my suit coat, and it was too short in the sleeves. I was scared, but they got it taken care of right there within 15 minutes. So I paid the man, I got my tux, and we made our way out of the store. Chastity was hot, and I was hot too. So we made our way to this place called Frog, where they serve like coffee. It's like a like local Starbucks uh, almost. They have pretty much everything. So she got a Frappuccino. It was good. And we tried to make our way back to the car without burning up this big ass tux on my back. Yeah, it was hot. And yeah, I thought I'd let y'all in on a little secret. This is it right here. If you are ever wondering how people do that in their videos, it's because they leave the camera there and they... She really loves interrupting me when I talk. But we made it home in time enough for me to actually clean out my truck and I was able to get in the bathroom and give myself a nice, clean haircut. I haven't had a haircut in almost three months. Yeah, I don't know why. So yesterday, I believe, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, I put in the vlog that I cut Kyler's hair and he was working on the film. So, can I show the trailer? Yeah, sure. You, you gonna send the trailer? Yeah. All right, so he gonna send the trailer to me and I'm gonna put it right here. All right, so I'm in a hurry. So I ain't gonna be able to show y'all this part. That's why I got shaving cream all over my face. So I'm gonna get myself an edge up and then I'm gonna shave. So, yeah, all right. All right, so I'm actually finally in the truck. I'm finally on my way, and there's no way that I can mount my camera so you can see me while I'm driving, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it, okay? All right, so as you can see, we made it late. Surprise, I wasn't the only one that was late. Good thing. But anyway, we got there, we rehearsed, we had a really good time. It was fun seeing people that I knew and actually meeting some new people. And I had some little friends to help me with my vlog, Bradley and Dylan, my boys. Uh, round one down, round one down. That means that round two is tomorrow and there are only two rounds, thank God. Only two. And then guess what? Court, I don't think we're doing this anymore after this. Yeah, I think we're done, maybe. I got two sisters, so I'm probably in two more. You probably got two more. <laughs> and I'm a middle sister, so I got to do them too. Yeah. So we, we still got something left. I don't want to ring on my Texas. I know you didn't think I was going to show you the bachelor party. Anyway, shout out to DJ Quads for the music. Thank you for watching my video. And as always, make sure that you click the subscribe button, and I will see you guys tomorrow.